Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Be good, of course. Brandon Wenzel, coming back at you. Another offering off my sampler platter. <sighs> yes, indeed, folks. Hand platter video series of videos I've been doing for a while. I work over there, chat food and drink items. I eat the stuff, I drink stuff, then I talk about the stuff, folks. I'm going to let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious crap that I'm going to try out with my mouth and such. And I'm going to talk about it. The same, you know, same general hole that's going to be doing most of the doing, but there's going to be hand actions involved. It's really, I'm not... I'm not just trying to explain these things to you. I'm, I'm using the medium of interpretive dance, okay, to, to truly relay the emotional causality that comes into play between man and food. That's what I'm trying to do here. While I'm doing so, I'm in the truck right now. Uh, I've also got a shirt on, hooray shirts. Uh, typically when I have a cool shirt on, I like to highlight the shirt. This shirt in particular is one of my Stellar Circuit shirts. It has a stain, unfortunately. I wasn't uh, planning to do a video today, but uh, oh, today was a day, folks. Today was a day. So yeah, so you get the, the shirt with the stain. But don't let the stain fool you. Stellar Circuits, they're an excellent band out of North Carolina. I'm always hyping these guys up whenever I can because they're excellent people. Uh, if you're interested, on this very channel, I have some uh, video that I've recorded of concerts I've been to of theirs. They've also got YouTube and Bandcamp and all that good stuff. So, what am I trying for y'all today, folks? Well, we're doing something from a place that I don't think that I have actually tried. I mean, I've had their food before, but I don't think I've ever done on the show. Because we're doing something from Boom! Culver's. Specifically, we are doing the Culver's... Eh. Boom! The Culver's Wisconsin Big Cheese uh, Pub Burger, I think is what it's called. I'll look up the name before I go over there and do the thing, but I think it was something to that effect. And uh, yeah, so I I enjoy Culver's. I don't go there that often. Uh, their food's a little bit more expensive than like typical fast food, but it's also typically better quality. So there's that to take into account. It's a little bit more of like a, you know, Okay, I'm not. Maybe I'm not feeling Burger King today. You know, maybe I'm not. You know, I'll I'll treat myself a little bit. I'll go to Culver's. They even have their own root beer. And if you know my channel, folks, I love root beer. And their root beer, and this isn't part of the review, but I do have another thing that's part of it. Uh, their root beer is actually pretty good. I'm actually kind of surprised they've never decided to try and like market it and sell it just by itself. I would probably buy some. It's not the best root beer in the world or anything, but it's pretty decent. So. But yeah, so I'll be entirely honest. Uh, with this one, there's uh, I've I've talked about his channel before. He's commented on mine a couple times. Uh, I believe it's Fast Talk Food Reviews. He I he did a review for this not too long ago, and that's actually where I found out about it because I don't typically follow like I follow food stuff so that I can do reviews. Uh, but I don't usually follow Culver's. They usually don't have too much going on that's super interesting. I suppose I could do like a concrete mixer, you know, of the day, but that that's that would be way too much. But yeah, so he was the one who uh, I saw it on his channel. I'll try to remember to put a link to his channel. If you enjoy review stuff, and you know, if you like my stuff, but maybe you think you want it more condensed, he's the guy to go to. Probably about a third the length of my videos typically. So there we go. But uh, but yeah, so I like a burger. And I typically like Culver's, so it made sense. Now, I will say this. I got a double. They do offer it in a triple, but I'm not quite that decadent. Uh, I will say, you know, it does fall victim, even though it's Culver's, it does fall victim to the, the picture looking significantly more impressive than the final product. Like, the picture of this is like, it's this big, beefy thing, and it's like, eh, it's, it's, I mean, there's, it's, it's got some heft to it, folks, but definitely doesn't look quite as impressive. But yeah, it's, uh, I mean, from what I can see, appears to be two patties. Looks like we got two types of cheese, maybe cheddar and mozzarella, I'm thinking. And then it's on like a fancy bun. I don't know how this is going to go. The, I think I did the, did I do the, uh, oh, maybe I didn't. I forget if I did the, uh, the Wendy's pub burger that they had, which I actually really liked quite a bit. So, I don't know how it's going to stack up against that. It's probably, you know, I, I'm grateful that I live in an area where I have a lot of really great burger spots. 
So it's not going to live up to those, but, it, you know, hopefully it'll still be good. Let's try a thing. Okay, Culver's. I'll give it to you. Um, right off the bat, I like that it's a simple burger. It's a pub burger, but they didn't go over there and, like, add on, like, a whole bunch of stuff and, like, try to make it uber fancy. It's like, no. It's a double burger, or, like I said, you can get in trouble. It's a double burger. We got a couple types of cheeses. Fancy bun. We're going to make it good for you. And to that effect, I think they succeeded. It's simple, but it's done really well. And you can taste every element of the burger. You get the, the back and forth between the different cheeses, which is really nice. Like, it's actually a really... Uh, nice flavor profile. And both the cheeses taste really good. The beef really stands out. It's, I mean, and it should. It's a burger. But it really stands out. There's also what appears to be some sort of mayo on the bottom. Which would be the other flavor that I'm tasting. But... Yeah, it's... I don't know if it's exactly what I think of when I think of a pub burger. Um, for one thing, I think of like a pretzel bun. Uh, but mind you, hey, you know, do your thing. But, so, in that regard, <clears throat> I don't know if I want to say it's disappointing. It's different. Like, the Wendy's pub burger felt to me like what a pub burger really should be. Had a pretzel bun. You know, it's been a while since I had one, sadly. I wish they'd bring it back. But it had a little, you know, some extra frills and whistles and stuff like that. It was trying to be a little bit more of a gourmet burger. With this, it's it's a simple burger at its core. It's two patties. It's got a little mayo. It's got a couple cheeses. But the thing is... What it's doing in every aspect, it's doing really well. Everything about it is really good. It tastes really good. Every bite is... It's it's taking the simple burger concept. You know, you've got a bun. You've got, you know, some beef. You know, if you're doing cheeseburger, you got some cheese. Maybe some... Uh, excuse me. Maybe some ketchup or what have you. In this case, we got mayo. It's taking that... It's still presenting it as is, but it's going over there, making sure that everything's a little bit elevated, and making sure that everything shines through. Every individual component gets its place to shine, and it does that really well. And every bite is very meaty, it's very, very satisfying, is the best way I can put it. Every mouthful is very, very satisfying. So even if it isn't what I might think of when I think of a traditional pub burger. It is a very good burger. Like, I, I will say, in my experience with Culver's over the years, which again, I'm not a huge connoisseur, but this might be my favorite burger I've had from them, honestly. Typically, I go with like a mushroom and Swiss, because I'm a big fan of mushrooms. Swiss, I'm, I think mushroom and Swiss works pretty well. Swiss, I'm a little bit here or there on. But, yeah, it's really good. I, seriously, full full kudos to him with this one. Um, I'm going to put it off to the side because, like I said, I have another item, folks. You're getting a twofer. Because one of the other items that they had available, boom! What's this? It's not a concrete mixer, folks. It's a root beer shake. Ah! Root beer, root beer shake, root beer, root beer shake. Folks, I love root beer. I'm a simple man. You give me a burger and some root beer, I'm a happy guy. That's just that's just a Brandon Wenzel fact right there. So, 
when I saw that they had a root beer shake, I knew I had to get up in that. Now, here's the thing. I've had a lot of shakes, so I'm a big fan of shakes. I don't know if I've ever had a root beer shake. I've had root beer floats. I've had Dr. Pepper shake. I think I've even had a Coke shake. I don't know if I've ever had a root beer shake. So, let's give that a shot. Make this whole day complete. Because let me tell you, folks, today was a fucking day. Okay, there's a reason why I went to Culver's. Like I said, you know, it's a little bit of a treat for myself. I'll just say this. Don't be an asshole. Take the time to maintain your car. Okay? Or truck or, you know, motorized vehicle. Preventative maintenance will save you so much bullshit down the fucking road, man. I, the, the whole fucking day. Whole fucking day. But anyway, let's try this thing. I'm going to try if I can get, see it get it through the straw. It seems pretty thick. But uh, if need be, you know, we'll we'll go with the spoon. You can kind of get it through the straw. But it's not ideal. <laughs> so let's go spoon. It's less of a shake and more like a frosty. Which, by the way, if you're interested, I did a... Uh, Review of the Wendy's Strawberry Frosty not too long ago. Go look up that video. I do appreciate that it's thick. But I have to admit, with it being a shake, I really want to drink it. And unfortunately with this, I mean, yeah, I could, but like it would take so much effort to make that happen. It is, however, tasty and good. The only problem is, for me, while it is good, in turning it into a shake, you're losing a lot of the, the, the harsher flavors of the root beer, which for some people is preferable. A lot of people I've talked to, uh, you know, when I bring up root beer, especially conventional root beers, like stuff that you can get just readily available, basically two camps. You have people who like A&W and Mug, and then you have people who like Barks and like, you know, or Barks. And, you know, s some of the like harsher stuff, you know, like, uh, like Dad's. I fall into the Barks and Dad's category. I enjoy some a &W, I enjoy some mug every now and again. I like my root beer to have a harsher taste. I like it to have more going on. With a and and mug, there, there's still stuff there, but it's it's too sweet for me uh, to feel like a fully proper root beer. Even though, like I said, I mean, they are good. I do enjoy them in certain instances. With the Culver's root beer... Well, I wouldn't say it's particularly complex root beer. There is a little bit of a harshness to it. It's not <clears throat> just sweet. There's a little something going on there that makes it stand out from, again, like a mug or an A&W. Watches, you know, it turns out, no, it's just rebranded mug or some shit like that. But to be fair, I don't drink mug very often. It used to be my favorite root beer. But there is a little something there. With this... Because you've got, you know, the sweetness of the stuff that makes the shake, it kind of overrides that. You do still get it there a little bit. You can... I, no one would have to tell me that this is a root beer shake. I would certainly be able to discern it. But, would it be my immediate thought? No. I think after a few, you know, tastes of it, I'd be able to get it down, but because, like I said, because it does have so much pushing the root beer flavor down, I enjoy it as an experience, but not as much as I was hoping for a root beer experience, if that makes any sense. It's still good, but for me, I just think this is something where Either they needed to use it like a stronger root beer, something that would kind of preserve the root beer uh, taste a little bit better. Or conversely, uh, well, 
yeah, I mean, th that's pretty much what I would have done. I, I Just for me personally. Because like I said, there is still a root beer taste, but I just, like I said, my personal taste. I like root beer to taste what I feel like root beer really should taste like. The shake is still good. I still enjoy it. It's just not quite what I was hoping for. As for the whole experience, would I recommend it? Yes, 100%. The, especially the pub burger, I think that's really, really good. Uh, I think it's a limited time thing, so definitely go check it out while it's available. The root beer shake, I, it's good. I think if you're like me and you're more of a more of a harder edge root beer fan, uh, it's not going to give you that sensation, but it is still good, and it does still have a root beer quality to it. So, but they also have, have uh, the same time they had this. They also had root beer floats available. I think in the future, were I going to go back, I would just get a root beer float, personally. But that's just me. So anyway, folks, that's going to do it for me on this one. Five things before I get out of here. Have yourself a great rest of your day. Spectacular rest of your week. Monumental rest of your month. Uh, a phenomenal rest of your year. And if you could go over there and have yourselves a truly pub burger-tastic rest of your life, folks. Because pub burgers, pretty damn good. Yeah, I can go with them. Final two things, folks. Number one, try to bring some positive in the world. It's not always possible. It is, however, always appreciated. But we do can't do it all the time. I know I can't do it all the time, folks. Trust me, today was a hard one for me to do it today. Uh, <laughs> Here's what you do, folks. You try not to be an asshole, okay? Not always going to succeed. There was more than, one more than one time today where I really wanted to be an asshole because... Oh, boy, oh, boy, with everything that was going on. I haven't slept yet. This is the first time you've eaten. It's a whole day of this nonsense. But I didn't do that because ultimately I knew that the people that I was working with were, you know, trying to work in my best interest. Just, you know, the situation was what it was. It just sucked ass for me. So I mitigated the level of assholishness in my life. That's what I think that everybody should try to do. Very final thing, folks, do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Maybe you're going to go over there. Maybe you're <laughs> maybe you're going to go over there. Maybe you're going to take better care of your car than I do. So that you don't end up with a fucking stupidly high bill when, you know, you finally go over there to get your shit taken in months after you knew there was a problem and you just kept rolling along like, eh, I think it'll get better before it gets worse. Didn't. Oh, and to be you typically, you know, I'd be like, oh, you know, or you could do something. No, that's a good thing to do. Do that. Bye.